Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. Today we are doing a product review of Jessie Curl's Deep Conditioner and so I am just going to, this is me with it already on but ignore that. We're going to go into my bathroom, apply the deep conditioner, I'll give you a few thoughts and we'll come back and wrap this up. All right, curl friends, I've already washed my hair and now it's time for the deep conditioner. My hair is already drying out. I just used the shampoo, no conditioner, so it's a little tangly. We'll take care of that hopefully as we're applying the conditioner. This is the deep conditioning treatment and is our heaviest moisturizing conditioner. It can be used as a daily conditioner for thick, coarse, textured hair and as a deep treatment conditioner for medium textured hair that needs extra moisture. It used to be called the weekly deep conditioning treatment, but when we heard from more and more of our curlies that they were using it every day, some were even using it as a leave-in hair mask, so we changed the name. And this curly hair care product is a sensation. It is thick and rich and is insanely moisturizing. And best of all, it doesn't build up and is protein free. It really is the ideal formula for restoring moisture to dry, thirsty curls. The directions say to apply to clean wet hair and comb through with a wide tooth comb and let it settle for 30 to 60 minutes. For even more intense conditioning, you can use heat or a heated cap and then rinse and style as usual. This can be used daily or as a leave-in conditioner for thicker and drier hair types. As you can see, I only got the sample size. The full size, like the eight ounce, retails for $17.95, and this sample size retails for $2. Really though, this container, there's a lot of air in it, and if you look, well, I can see because the light's coming in on me. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think you can, but it, it's only up to about here, really. So that's what we'll be working with. That will probably be the right amount. It might be a little bit extra left over, but let's get to applying this. I'm debating if I want to kind of re-wet my hair. I'm going to pull it into halves here, which is going to be a little bit difficult to do because it's already kind of tangly. And my hair is webbing together because that's just what it actually does when I don't have any conditioner in it. I think we'll just start applying how it is. And then if I need to go in with more water, I can. Oh, she feels thick. I'm pulling it out of this container or this little bag thing, whatever you want to call it, and she feels thick. That, that is definitely a thick deep conditioner. When you think of deep, thick deep conditioners, I oftentimes think of like Shea Moisture. This is, this is really thick. It's not even like breaking down. She worked it to my hair. So I don't think I'm going to need all that I had, all of that that was in the, the container or that little bag thing because there is still more left over. We'll see. We'll just work on applying this through the hair. Now this isn't giving me a lot of slip. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for like, you know, 15 minutes, come in and then run the brush through, see if it just works through any better. But I do want to give it a chance to maybe sit and do its job. I'll probably wet it down a little bit more too. Oh, here I am trying to feel like finger to tangle because it's a really tangly spot. I don't even know if that was on camera. Like I said, I'm not really trying to finger detangle at this point, but I am trying to work it through pretty well. Okay, I am just going to clip this up. I am not going to use a heated cap because my hair is neither super thick or coarse and I just don't want to over moisturize it. I think there's going to be plenty of moisture working through this without using like a shower cap to contain extra heat from my head, so. And then the amount of product I used, there is still a little bit left, like probably I guess about half, and this will probably actually do me a whole nother time. It's not much, it's only down to here, but that, the based on how thick this was, this will probably do me a whole nother time, so. I'm just gonna make sure I have it all squeezed down. I will check back in 15 minutes and we'll see what we're working with, how well it detangles or not. So be back then. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Let's take a look at what this hair looks and feels like. I can tell you right now, it already feels much softer. I can feel like it has absorbed into my hair. My hair has drunk it up, so to speak, and it feels much softer. But now we are just going to use my Tangle Teaser brush, ignore how dirty that was, and work on detangling. I think most of the tangles are have worked their way down to my ends at this point from me applying this. 
Like I said, I wasn't trying to finger detangle earlier. I just wanted to try to get it all distributed as best as I could. And then after brushing this through, I am just going to let it set up again for about another 10, 15 minutes just to let it soak all throughout my hair once it has been definitely thoroughly detangled. I will say this is working, my brush is working through pretty well. I mean, if you saw how gnarly it was, I did lower my camera just a little bit coming back this time because I felt like looking back at the footage, I was kind of raised up a little high. I apologize for that. This isn't my normal setup here, but it might be something that I do, an option I do a little bit more often. We'll see. There's this one area where there's this resistant, resistant curl or resistant knot is what I should say. But other than that, I feel like it's worked through pretty well. I guess I would say overall, as far as the detangling, it is a medium at detangling. It's not fantastic. It doesn't wow me as far as the detangling, but it's not bad either. When I think of this deep conditioner, I think of Taylor Ann and Lori Ann. I don't know if any of you have watched those, but they're a mother-daughter duo, and they don't post nearly as many videos these days. But back in the day, like, I don't know, five years ago or so, they were posting a lot. And I always think of, what one is it? It's Taylor Ann, the younger one. And she would say that she loved this deep conditioner because if she felt like she was in protein overload, um, she would go to this deep conditioner specifically to pull her out of it. And while that is not my case whatsoever, I am not, my hair is nothing like hers. I just, I don't know, that's what I think of when I think of this deep conditioner. Okay, I have it pinned back up. I'm Like I said, I'm gonna leave this set in for about another 10 to 15 minutes and rinse, and we'll be back in my normal spot with my hair fully diffused and styled. I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, and I am back with my curls fully styled and diffused, so let's take a quick peek at what these curls are looking like, what the health of my hair feels like. We'll talk about that. I do think I have good definition. I do think I have very minimal frizz. I do think my hair feels soft and moisturized, but it does not feel weighed down. And that is an important thing for me when I'm talking about like a deep conditioner that has no protein. So sometimes those can be heavy on my hair. And I did say that that deep conditioner was really heavy feeling applying it. Now, once it was in my hair, once it had absorbed into my hair, it felt very good. Like it didn't feel too heavy at that point. And then once I rinsed it out, you know, it just felt like normal hair before styling. And now that I see the styled results, I am liking it because I know that this was not too heavy for my hair. I can continue to use this and not have to be worried about it weighing my curls down or anything like that. I still have good elasticity throughout my curls. Like this here, telling me that I, yeah, my hair is just not over moisturized. So that is something that I definitely look for when I am trying a protein free deep conditioner. So once again, I was shocked with the consistency of this. I mean, I thought it would kind of be a more rich deep conditioner, but I was still really shocked at how thick it was, but applied on so smooth and silky and didn't feel heavy as I was, as after it had absorbed into my hair, I should say. And I still have a whole nother use in here. So if this is something that you're interested in, like if you like protein-free deep conditioners and, or at least incorporate them every once in a while into your routine, like I would do, I would definitely say check this out because this is a good one and especially if you're considering buying any of the other products i did a review on the other products in the week before so i will leave that linked up in the cards i encourage you to check that out but overall i have loved my experience with jesse curl and i encourage you to check them out because i think they're good products i think that they work well they're not overly expensive they are in that mid-range i would say between the 10 and 20 dollar mark so let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what your favorite protein-free deep conditioner is and if you've tried this one out at all. So until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.